Yo, what's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy, First Class 305, coming at y'all with a quick joint right quick. Um, I just recorded a video of my last pickup. Um, and it is actually, I mean, I'm not really going to get into full detail just because I already told you. It's the Air Max, oh, excuse me, the Air Max. I'm just showing over Air Max 1s. Everything is Air Max just to me, nigga. Uh, but the uh, Jordan 1 OG Retro. Black toe joints. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so yeah, I already did this. I already did a video on these joints. And um, I wanted to do a quick discussion video, man. It's going to be super quick because it's like, shit, it's already going on 4 o'clock in the morning. And I feel like I need to be asleep. I got to go uh, work on a car tomorrow. Got to do the AC on a, on an Ultima. And uh, yeah, anybody who knows Ultimas in 3.5 liters know that that car is a pain and the royal balls to work on. There's no space in the engine bay. Um, everything is super compressed in there. It's just a pain in the ass, man. Like literally a pain in the ass. So either way, uh, reason for this video is more or less a quick discussion video. It's not even gonna be super long. It's not gonna be super OD. It's gonna be real quick and down to the point, down to the nitty gritty. Just really wanna give my opinion on the fucking LeBron 11s. What is that basura for all my Spanish speakers out there? Basura, garbage, mierda, shit. Whichever one, choose a language and use a synonym that means garbage. And that's what that shoe is. Straight up. If you haven't seen them yet, let me see if I can pull it up on my iPod right quick. So y'all get a better understanding of the garbage that I'm referring to. And honestly speaking, it's not even about it's not even about anything. I mean, I, honestly speaking, the way that they were, I feel like they were trying to approach the shoe is kind of on the Jordan-esque tip. Um, you know, trying to be innovative with materials being used and different materials being used based on the fact that it is a Jordan, uh, excuse me, a LeBron 11. And everybody knows that uh, Jordan 11 was the staple shoe for Jordan. Um, so on that tip, they did a pretty good job of that as far as uh, the use of materials that were different in every way, shape, and a fashion. Keep in mind, I'm not ignoring you. I'm just really trying to pull it up on the iPod. Um, you know, they did a really good job of using materials that aren't used, new materials that aren't used in a way that they haven't been used before. So I give kudos for that. But just the design itself, I feel is pretty whack. The best way to say it, pretty whack. First and foremost, the price has been up substantially. If I'm not mistaken, I think the price of these are going to retail for 200 or something like that. Something crazy, something obnoxious like that, which that in itself is retarded. But then they take away the air unit. Like, help me understand how it is that LeBron, everybody buys LeBrons for comfort because LeBrons are probably the single most comfortable basketball shoe slash lifestyle shoe ever made. And my dog is, needs love and she needs attention and she keeps coming over here like, yo, touch me. So, you know, I'm going to touch her. Um, Y'all probably hear her over here going nuts. Uh, excuse me. I digress. Um, either way, they got rid of one of the most comfortable aspects of LeBron's, which is the air bubble. They didn't go, they didn't go 180 on them like they did on the nines. They just straight up scratched. They went ixnate on the air bubble. Granted, it's not for sure, for sure, but I'm pretty sure this is the final, the final, uh, the final edit of the shoot. And if that, and that being the case, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty upset. The tens were already pretty much the end of a of a beautiful era, man. To be completely honest with y'all. Um, but if you haven't seen it, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up a picture now. I already got the picture up. Let me see if y'all can see it here. Just bear with me one second. Y'all see that. I'm sure y'all can see that. And if you say you can't see that, you're a liar. Because I see it right now looking at it. I don't know what J uh, what Nike was thinking. They went with uh, this new material called um, Armor Posit. It's a new material called Armor Posit. And honestly speaking, I don't really think that, you know, I think the shoe is pretty, I, I, in a way, I kind of, I feel transformer when I look at the shoe. The shoe feels super transformer to me. And at the end of the day, that's not the problem. I think uh, the execution was somewhat well. They, they took a lot of notes from a lot of different shoes, 
um, as far as the check that looks like the Darwins or even you know the Rodmans they even have that check Rodman-esque in that sense they have the typical LeBron uh, uh, you know what I'm saying um, ankle arch which is pretty much LeBron's thing uh, just that midsole in itself reminds me of all the soldiers the LeBron soldiers that midsole reminds me of the soldiers and that being the case they, they just went with typical cushioning and you know kind of got lazy on it as far as the midsole and the sole of the shoe we need cushion man what's wrong with you Nike nigga we need cushion nigga that's why niggas buy LeBron's nigga for the cushion nigga you know what I'm saying hey, real talk son real talk son but either way man I was kind of you know taken aback by it a little bit but just to give y'all let me see if I can pull up a picture of the look just to tell y'all exactly what it is look at the 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 zoom the soldiers i'm not sure if y'all can see it from there that's probably the best y'all gonna get at it the soldiers itself this colorway is pretty dope colorway is pretty dope but then again yet we go back to it they went cheap on the soul and the midsole we need Cushion, man. Y'all gonna y'all gonna introduce new new air bubble technology on the tens, which are almost as comfortable as the nine, as the excuse me, the eights, and then you're gonna snatch it away from us. I just think that's uh, hustling backwards. So yeah, I just wanted to give you my opinion on the LeBron Elevens. Yet again, is it gonna be the last? Is it gonna be the pair that? You know what I'm saying? This is the picture of LeBron when he wore him. I'm pretty sure everybody here follows Sneaker News and Show Collector and all that. So that's why I'm saying I think it's going to be the final cut. And that being the case, I'm a little upset. Um, and yeah, that's my opinion. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give him a 4. Just because I know technology is going to be up the yin-yang. Um, but I guess they figured if we throw a posit on it. It's probably gonna warrant the two hundred dollar price tag, unlike the tens that they put they demanded a two hundred dollar price tag and had nothing two hundred dollars on it. So I guess in a business sense that makes sense. But um have you have they sold me on it yet? Absolutely not. I'm probably gonna pick up maybe one pair and has to be a really dope colorway, something that I'm really wanting to deal with. Um but in my opinion, I think the LeBron fours look like they should be the elevens compared to these, if you ask my opinion. Um, just as far as design standpoint, the fours were like you know uh, an amazing design as uh, design, yeah, aesthetically, visually, aesthetically, they were they're they're just gorgeous. Um, and I'm probably gonna pick up the the black and red pair just to have because I think the shoe's super dope. Um, but you know, y'all definitely give me your opinion. Let me know how you feel about the the recent pictures of the LeBron tens, and let me know if y'all fucking with them, if you're not fucking with them, if they dope, if they not dope. You know, a nigga always want to hear from the squizzy. So on that note, it's your boy First Class 305 from Macha Ia Macha Face talking off the Deuces Salute. Oh, I'm going to post pictures at the end of the video just so y'all can see really better pictures of them. I'm going to go ahead and download some pictures just so y'all have it and y'all can really look at it and all that other jazz. First Class Opinion, Cisco and Cleasy, give it two thumbs down. But I'm not the god of the sneaky game, so... That's why they make different colors, different strokes with different folks. Pretty sure they're going to sell out because LeBron James having a phenomenal season. Although, the Pacers being the Pacers, and I'm a real big fan of the Pacers just because of the defensive input, just like I am the Grizzlies. So, uh, yeah. Big up to the Pacers. But he still got this. Come on, you got the king on the squad. But on that note, it's your boy First Class 305. Matcha ear, matcha face, sucking up the doses. Salute. I'll let it in.